In the most recent video on this channel, we did a little research and we concluded Elementor was building a SaaS platform or a cloud platform. And it turns out they really are. And some of you guys in the comments, you already knew that, and you left a link or told me how to find the cloud platform that Elementor is creating. And we're gonna take a look at the sales page for it in this tutorial. We can't get access to the actual platform right now because it's in beta and you have to be invited to get access and they're inviting random people to it. So I don't know who gets invites, but somebody probably does. And maybe even some of you guys watching these videos have invites, but either way, we're going to check out the sales page and see what Elementor Cloud could potentially be offering. And I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. So here we have Elementor Cloud. Not too subtle with the cloud over here. And this is the sales page currently for the Elementor Cloud Platform. There's a lot of information on this page and you can join a waiting list right here. This will take you to an opt-in form. We'll check that out in just a little bit. There you can enter your name and email and then you'll be notified when you can have access to Elementor Cloud or Elementor Cloud Beta. Currently they're allowing only random people to access it to get unbiased feedback and try to improve the platform. So maybe they'll expand that beta test to include more random people or maybe they'll just notify you when it's actually released. If we scroll through the sales page, it's linked to in the description down below if you wanna check it out. So what we can learn from this sales page, specifically these three points right here, is this will be a fully hosted experience. So you won't need to have a hosting account if you're using Elementor Cloud. WordPress will be installed. So they're gonna install WordPress for you, probably with one or two clicks. It will then have Elementor and Elementor Pro installed on that WordPress install. And then you will install other plugins as well. I think the plugins will be curated, meaning only ones Elementor wants you to install. I'll show you why I think that in just a minute. And the third point here is just saying that's gonna be Elementor focused. And here is what you get currently. This is beta. So this is the feature set that they are playing with right now. 20 gigabytes of storage, 50 gigabytes of bandwidth, 25,000 monthly visits. Use your own domain name, SSL security, all the Elementor Pro features, and then the Website Builder feature set, which is basically Elementor Pro. I don't know why that's broken out into two different ones. And the Hello theme, which is the Elementor theme. And here we have more information. As we know, Elementor comes pre-installed. You get to connect your own domain name, so you can have joeblow.com as your website inside Elementor Cloud, and then that website can be served right from there, just like you would if you had your website on traditional hosting. But in this case, you pay Elementor and they do the hosting for you. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. They have daily backups and they have something called site lock. Not to be confused with the site lock that's owned by EIG, which I think is probably a scam. You can check out my video on that in the description down below and the card up above, I'll put it up there. This site lock is a unique code you can send to customers so they can see your site while you're working on it and give you feedback. And there's premium support. Hopefully it's better than the current support. And here's why I think they're gonna allow you to install a curated set of plugins. Here it says it supports all major WordPress plugins. Has a list of them down here, probably a subset of them. And then it says your Elementor Cloud website supports the installation of top professional WordPress plugins and services. So it doesn't say all WordPress plugins, it says all major WordPress plugins. That makes me think it's gonna be curated, meaning you can only install certain ones. I have to see more about that when this thing is released. Then we get into the FAQs. We covered all these pretty much except for the trial period. There's a 21 day trial period. Currently it's not even released, so that might change. So don't take that to heart. And what can I do during the trial? You get the full feature set everything you want to do, where is it hosted, by Elementor, what happens to my site when the trial expires, it's terminated. You can read the full FAQ by clicking this link here, and you can click on join the waitlist. This will take you to this waitlist page, and you opt in, and Bob's your uncle, you're on the waitlist. Here it says we're gradually rolling it out to more and more users over the coming months. So you might be notified to test out Elementor beta if you're on this waitlist. And based on the conclusions we came to in the previous video, where we talked about what we thought Elementor was gonna do in the future, and what you guys said in the comments, I wanna show you the comment thread on this blog post. This blog post is announcing Elementor Cloud, and in it, 
there's something very important that Ben Pine says, and that is this. Response to Jeremy Dawes. Jeremy Dawes says, interesting to finally see what this looks like. Maybe a good way for Elementor to compete with WordPress.com and Squarespace for people that like fully managed service and like lock-in. Now lock-in is referring to getting someone into the platform and then not letting them leave. Kind of like Wix does, WordPress.com, Squarespace, and that's kind of what I was assuming based on what I learned for the research in the last video. And based on a lot of the comments you guys were leaving, it sounds like that's what you guys were thinking too. But then Ben Pines responds with, we will never lock in users and will allow you to transport your site anytime with the utmost simplicity. So it sounds to me like Elementor is not planning on leaving WordPress. It sounds like they're developing Elementor Cloud to be an add-on to the WordPress plugins they have. And my feeling is they're gonna use their existing customer base for the WordPress plugins to try to upsell them into Elementor Cloud because the point of Elementor Cloud, according to this post and Ben Pine's responses, which you can read through, there's a link to it in the description down below. But according to what I read here, it sounds like they just wanna make it really simple for you to build Elementor websites and really simple for you to transfer them out. I know after the last video, you guys had a lot of thoughts on where Elementor was going and how you felt about it. And I'd love to know what your thoughts are after reading through this content that I found for this video. Leave your comments down below, and let me know what you think. And if you wanna see the previous video where we did some research into Elementor and what we think they're doing in the future, check it out right up here. And like I said, I'd love to know what you think about the direction of Elementor. Please leave your comments down below and let me know. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.